Hello everybody, I am Sudip from Euclid's and we shall start our Vue.js course. So what is Vue.js and the benefits of using it? Number one, introduction to Vue.js or Vue.js. Vue.js is an open source JavaScript framework used for building user interfaces and single page applications that is SPAs. Single page application SPA. It's designed to be easy to learn, incrementally adaptable and flexible enough to scale from small to large applications. Vue.js enables developers to create modern, reactive web interfaces efficiently. Key features of Vue.js Number 1. Reactive Data Binding View automatically updates the UI when the underlying data changes. Component based architecture. View encourages building applications using modular and reusable components. So one component, when we create one component that can be reused and that can be modular that is placed in another component within another component also. Directives Views template syntax uses directives like vbind or v hyphen bind v hyphen if or we shall call it v if and v for to handle dynamic data binding. This is very fantastic use of vbind, vif and v4. You can write almost a program within your uh, HTML syntax like that. Virtual DOM view uses a virtual DOM or document object model for efficient updates to the real DOM, ensuring performance improvements. When something changes, you first updates the virtual DOM, then in automatically checks whether it is different from real DOM or not. Then it changes if there is any changes then it will change the real DOM also as per the virtual DOM. Virtual DOM is like stored in the memory. So performance is increased. Number two, what makes Vue.js unique? Vue.js is known for its simplicity and flexibility which makes it easy to integrate into projects. Whether you are building a small feature for a web page or a full single page, page application, Vue.js adopts your needs. From small to full application, full single, uh, single page application or multi-page application also you can write it through view. Enterprise level application also you can write it with view with more simplicity and more easily. Incrementally adaptable. Vue.js can be integrated into existing projects without requiring a complete overhaul. Into existing projects it can be inserted. You can use it to control a part of your web page 
making it easy to adopt even in large complex applications. For a large complex applications, you can make some part of it with Vue. There will be no problem. So it is incrementally adaptable. Then you can by slowly add new functions, new classes, new components actually to that function, to that app. Friendly learning curve. Vue.js Vue's syntax is clean and easy to understand, making it ideal for both beginners and experienced developer. It's, it's a, I can tell you, it's intuitive. That is, it's very, very, its syntax is very beautiful and it's intuitive and you can do many things with Vue from the beginning unlike some other frameworks for example angular developed by google it does not have a steep learning curve so developers can start building features quickly react is react js also has steep learning curve but in my humble opinion vue is the easiest one vue is very good very easy to learn it's flexible api with vue 3's composition api vue.js gives developers greater flexibility to organize component logic especially in larger applications now we use comp composition api and it gives greater flexibility to organize component logic especially in larger applications enterprise level applications number three benefits of using Vue.js one reactive data binding Vue's reactive data binding system allows you to bind your data to the DOM when your data changes, for example, a text box or edit box, some values changes, the UI automatically updates to reflect those changes without the need for manual DOM manipulation. It's very, very reactive example of two-way data binding with view. Please note that you cannot understand right uh, these codes right now, but later you will, you can, you must understand these codes. And with is within template tag, there is a div tag and input v model message. Now p message when message is changed it will show you now export default data now return within data function it return with a an object of message colon hello dot view internally uh, initially it will first show you that message here and here hello view when you change that input value, it will automatically change that message. This is very, very easy. And uh, you can, you believe me, you have to write more lines of codes if you want to do the same functionality with vanilla JavaScript, that is only JavaScript, even with Angular and React framework also. React is a library, Angular is a framework. Re React and Angular also. In the above example, Vue's V model, Vue's V model directive creates a two-way data binding between the input field and the message variable. Any changes to the input field 
are automatically reflected in the paragraph here in the paragraph as I told you okay this is very important and this work needs lots of things to do for the frameworks or vanilla JavaScript number two component based architecture Vue.js is built around a component based architecture making it easy to break an application down into smaller self-contained units these reusable components improve maintainability and scalability it's like block of things like you want to build a house you have windows and ready-made walls it's like that and windows you uh, can insert the windows in that current position in the required position and windows have and within windows there are some components also its frame its uh, wooden blocks its glass etc example of a view component hello world dot view h1 greeting h1 template here we call template we will learn everything and there is a script export default props greeting script in this example the hello world component takes a greeting prop prop means property prop from the outside suppose you used one greeting the message will be placed like this greeting prop and renders it in the template making the component reusable in multiple places with different data this is variable this we supply from the outside suppose hello world this is a tag view tag this is hello world dot view <coughs> then we can send within that greeting greeting prop that is property and within greeting we can say that hello world how are you or hello view the same Thing can be used in different places number three virtual DOM for high performance view uses a virtual DOM to optimize rendering performance actually rendering performance is the most time-taking work how to render a page this is the most time-taking work for a browser instead of making direct changes to the actual DOM view first makes updates to the virtual representation of the DOM only the necessary changes are then applied to the real DOM making updates more efficient so when it finds that it finds that the real DOM is not equal to the virtual DOM it will change updates the real DOM single file components SFC views single file components that is dot view files combine HTML JavaScript and CSS in one file this encapsulates the logic structure and style of each component keeping the code organized and easy to maintain so there is a single file components that is only one view it is called SFC HTML JavaScript and CSS in only one file here HTML is in the template JavaScript in the script 
and style block within the style tab here it is the style I'm telling you here within template tag we use div tag that is p the, uh, or paragraph then message message within two curly braces view uses two curly braces here something uh, a variable or a statement that will be performed here message will be printed now export default here is the script that is javascript data data is the function export default variable this is the default variable and data is the function it returns message hello word from view it is here and then the script is closed and here style block style scoped St scoped means you will learn that scoped means this is usable for this file only this scope means this is a private private to that file other files doesn't have this scope here p color blue so the message hello from view will be written here in blue color that's all composition api composition api introduced in view 3 provides developers with more flexibility in organizing logic within components this api helps with code reusability and organization especially in larger applications in view 3 this is the latest version right now the it uses it in, introduces something called composition api within the script actually here import ref from view ref is something we shall learn from view it import ref object and export default then we shall use setup function and setup function const counter is equal to ref0 this counter is used as a data and here you see counter is there and click here it says increment that is increment button and at click at click means on click increment it calls the increment function where is increment function within the set of function here increment that is counter dot value here is the counter then reference is here then value is increased plus plus that is increased by one and then it returns counter comma increment this looks slightly more difficult i know that even to me it 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 was difficult when i was learning but Please believe me, it will be very easy for you when you will do some lots of codes, write lots of codes with Composition API. And it's very easy when you will practice. The Composition API allows you to define component logic outside the traditional options api before that this is the options api export default data function this is the options api and here here it's the composition api this composition api allows you to define component logic outside of traditional options api improving flexibility and code reuse so everything is here this function this data everything is here so it will use code reuse 
and flexibility and and better than that for the larger applications it is very easy to create the application write the code next ecosystem and integrations view js had a has a rich ecosystem including view router for handling navigation and routing between views from one view to another pinia view state management library its own library which is lightweight simpler and more powerful than vuex previously we used vuex but now pinia is used pinia is developed also by the view team wit not white it is wit wit means faster in spanish spanish i think either spanish or french i forget it but it means fast and pinia means uh, the the fruit one fruit i forget the name for fast development builds and hot module replacement wit is really fast previously we used a different development tool for the view create view it's like that but now wit is really really a thing certain simplicity and flexibility view is simple to set up and get started with it doesn't require complex configurations or large boilerplate you don't need any large boilerplate of codes boilerplate means the codes which are required to start an application for example some other frameworks need large boiler codes to write a simple code but view doesn't need this you can add view to a project with just a script tag or you can set up a fully configured single page application using tools like wit 8 active community and rich ecosystem view has a large active community that produces extensive documentation tutorials and third party libraries whether you are looking for a ui component library or state management solution the view ecosystem has you covered everything is there so it is called a uh, what is called this view view this library this is called framework i forget it this is called framework so it is called framework not a library a library has more amount of other tools just like react but view has large active community and rich ecosystem this is important very important it has everything within that framework next four why choose vue.js for modern web development a is of integration whether you are starting a new project or enhancing an ex existing one vue is incrementally adaptable architecture vue's incrementally adaptable architecture allows you to integrate it smoothly into any setup that that is is of integration you can use the view within a large prode- project created by other system other framework rich features for scalable applications features like composition api react reactivity system 
and single file components make view ideal for building large scale maintainable applications lightweight and high performance view has a small file size around 20 kb minified plus gzip but packs powerful features so it is very lightweight and powerful it is highly performant with virtual dom that ensures efficient rendering growing ecosystem the view ecosystem is con con continually growing with more libraries tools and plugins being developed to extend views capabilities because this is an open open source system it is not developed by react like react as facebook the big company or meta creates created the react it is not like uh, uh, angular as google a very big company created that angular it is open source so everybody can include its features so it is very powerful and more, moreover it is lightweight and high performance and ecosystem is growing conclusion 5 Vue.js is a modern lightweight and flexible javascript framework that offers a simple yet powerful solution for building interactive user interfaces whether you are working on a small or large application Vue provides tools and features that enhance developer productivity while ensuring high performance and scalability Vue provides tools and features that enhance developer productivity while ensuring high performance and scalability by adopting the latest version of Vue.js you will benefit from new features like composition API improved performance with the virtual DOM and a vibrant community that continues to contribute to its ecosystem that's all for now thank you